every single time. Watch. Boom. Hey guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find buried treasure in Minecraft every single time. This method for finding buried treasure in Minecraft is super simple. We are going to be using simple math. I'm so confident about this theory that I am going to do this theory 10 times in a row, and if I mess up even once, my wife is going to hit me in the face with a pie tray full of whipped cream. That's a lot of confidence. Enough chit chat, let's get going. I mean, you guys already know the first steps to finding buried treasure. You have to find a sunken ship or underwater ruins, but some of you might not have known about this. Watch this. Yeah, see, when you drink night vision, all of a sudden you can see everything underwater super easy. Then you just gotta explore around in a boat. Usually those sunken ships are close to some sort of shore. That's typically where you're going to find buried treasure. It's also always good to have cod ready because if you feed it to a dolphin, they point you in the right direction. He was telling me it was over here. I couldn't see it. Ah, no map. Sometimes that happens. And I forgot to mention, you definitely want to turn your coordinates on right here. Okay, once you find that treasure map, you pick that thing up. You guys already know that. And you head to the X. Okay, once you get to the X, you want to be right on top of the X. Not like this. I used to think it was like that. No, you want to go so your little white dude is right on top, just like that. He fits in all of the X, and then you can check that by making him turn around and making sure his nose stays inside of the X at all times. Oh, look, there's a sunken ship right there. <laughs> and then you look at your coordinates, and they first of all need to be even numbers. So, so you need to make that an even number by either moving up or down, either way. Now we're going to bring up the calculator. So we had negative 440, and you divide that by 8, and it should be divisible by 8. Yep, perfectly divisible, no decimal numbers. Now the other one was negative 632, should be divisible by 8, and it is. Now let's imagine we were off and we were on like negative 634 or something like that, and you divide by 8, See, if you have those decimal numbers, that means you're wrong, and you need to try and get closer to having no decimal numbers, which means we needed to adjust our coordinates, which means that you can easily do that by just trying to get a little more center on that X. So now we have negative 440, negative 632. Both are divisible by 8. In other words, there's no decimal numbers. This is where our treasure is going to be every single time. Watch. Boom. Buried treasure. Now, let's say that you're lazy and you didn't want to do the math. As long as you're close on the X and you have an even set of numbers like these, you can dig here, 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 or there, and you will get buried treasure almost every time. Because look, if you're looking at the X, and let's say that I'm a little off on my coordinates. See, I can see that I'm off because the nose is out of the X. But, I mean, as long as I make a pattern like this, I'm going to get really, really close. And notice that all of these are also even numbers. So these are even coordinates. These are even coordinates. These are even coordinates. But again, the divisible by 8 rule always works. All right, let's test it out.
See, I told you it'd work. So just to recap, step one, find the ship. Step two, follow to the X. Step three, make sure your coordinates are even numbers divisible by eight, and then dig straight down. I'm Profe Pablo, and as always... Oh,